That is for sure. Jobs, jobs not close to being done, right? So we, we know that uh, the hardest is yet to come. So just just preparing accordingly and uh, make sure we're ready. And obviously, the start of the final, the opponent in the final depends on you know potentially what happens tonight. How much do you guys watch the other series? Uh, are you going to be watching that game intently? Uh, yeah, I would imagine I'll, I'll tune in. It's kind of you know a little bit later, so it might be past the, the, my sons and I uh, bedtime. Um, but uh, you know, I think uh, from you know. Uh, systematic standpoint, they're they're pretty similar. So, you can start start preparing, doing little things. Um, but you know, regardless of, of who we're up against, we know that uh, you know we we know what we're capable of, and we know we gotta come ready and, and, and do what we know we can do. What is Patrick Hornquist's presence meant to the room? Yeah, it's it's huge. He, he's a champion, and and I think if you ask anybody around here, he's kind of the embodiment of, of what it means to be a champion. Um, you know, from from day one since I met um, Patty, you know, a few summers ago, in the middle of the summer, you know, we were doing some pretty intense things that I would imagine not many people are doing that time of summer. So I think he he's you know a champion, and, and you can tell by how he prepares, how he carries himself, the, the type of teammate he is. Um, so you know, to have a guy like that around, pushing you, giving you some insight. Um, you know, he's still the hardest worker, you know, in practice when, when he's out there, still one of the loudest guys. So, um, you know, he's he's an unbelievable teammate and, 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 you know, very thankful to have him around. In the middle of the room, telling guys to sit or just does he kind of pull guys aside as needed and get in their ear a little bit? Like yeah, I, I think a little bit of both. Um, you know, he, he's obviously a smart guy who's been around, so he knows you know, individual personalities and, and kind of what different guys need. So if, if he thinks that somebody, you know, um, it's not right to do it in front of everyone, he'll, he'll definitely have that conversation, I would imagine, um, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously a lot of intense games lately, a ton of hockey lately. How big was yesterday to literally have a real full day off away from all of this to kind of reset? Yeah, yeah, it, it was great, you know. Um, like you said, it's, it's obviously, you know, we, we've had some, some really uh, tough months here. Um, so to be able to have that day and just step away and, you know, just have some peace, peace and quiet, you know, go to the beach and, and just kind of, like you said, step away and enjoy the sunshine. It was it was good. With that being said, being back today, does this kind of feel like the switch is flipped again and, you know, it all starts over? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, but I, I think, you know, now that the switch is, is built, um, you know, to stay on for, for this group, you know, even though we enjoyed our day yesterday, I, I would imagine guys are kind of still ramping up. Got a Sasha after uh, last game, kind of, I'm sure it was kind of a joke, but mentioned because Keith Kachuk came up and said, I think he literally said, like, he's the reason we're here. So now looking back, was that something you guys, like, talked about in here, reacted to, and anything like that? Yeah, you know, it, he knows what he's talking about, right? Like, it's not like he's a normal dad that, uh, you know, thinks he knows everything just because he's watched their kids growing up and, and playing. He's, you know, one of the only dads that you can kind of, you know, everybody hears and, and, and you know, whether it impacted or not, um, you know, he, he, was, he was right. So, um, you know, obviously he, he knows what he's talking about and uh, I'm sure he's enjoying our, our style of play now. Brian, kind of, a, kind of a silly question, but what's it like when you get gear that says Stanley Cup Final on it? Like what's that, when they hand you that stuff? Yeah, it, it's it's cool for sure. Um, you know, it, you got to kind of stay even keel though because, you know, we're we're still missing a word on here. So, um, you know, it, it'd be pretty cool to to get that one. I know you didn't play with him, but it was like having Yogs here last game. Yeah, was, see him. I mean, he's a presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no doubt. Um, you know, he's obviously a legend of the game. So, anytime you can have somebody like that around, um, and you know, wanting to be a part of it, obviously we're we're doing something pretty special here. So, um, you know, guys like that uh, just have around and I, I know you know caps pretty close with them and, and stuff like that so just to have somebody like that around um, yeah it's, it's pretty cool for sure thank you